appliances, uh, LG's had smart appliances for some time. We launched uh, the entire kitchen and laundry suite uh, last year. This year we'll be uh, announcing uh, a new smart home bot that we have. We've had robotic vacuums in the press. Now they're getting smart. Uh, essentially what you can do with all our smart applications on your phone, and this is a mock-up of what's coming, uh, we used to have separate applications for everything, for laundry, for range, for uh, refrigerator. Now it's just built into smart control, so everything will be able to be controlled through this actual application, including lighting, which is something that we're working on and developing. More to follow on that. But with the HomeBot, what I can actually do is, we also have near-field communication built into all our devices. So with this little demo, what I can do is, I'm now going to leave the house. What it's going to do is dim my lights, and now my HomeBot is going to start cleaning. You can see it's going to leave its little home, and while I'm gone, it's going to clean to make everything nice and pretty. Now I come home, and again, with NFC, Watch the app, my lights are on, and then my home mod is going to go back to his charging Set station and actually charge itself. Yep. Through the TV, which is kind of tough to see over there, you can actually, there's three cameras on there. There's one below, there's one on top for uh, mapping. There's also one out there in the center, so you can actually see what's going on in your house. Kind of like a cat tormentor, or you know, you can actually monitor what's outside your house through your phone or through the actual TV itself. So you can kind of see how that, you know, touching the smart life is really connecting and incorporating everything in with the, the home bot, the lighting, and the phone as being kind of the, the focus point. Um, Android as well as iOS uh, coming soon. As you move into the kitchen and fun stuff like that, we'll take a little road trip. This is the most popular section in our appliance booth. With smart appliances, there's really kind of four main things that we have with it. Um, the first one is something called Smart Grid. So we call these Smart Grid Ready Appliances. What Smart Grid Ready means is if your utility company has enabled Smart Grid, these will talk to that. In the case of something like your refrigerator, it'll actually talk to the grid and look at the off-peak time stored in a defrost cycle. Saving the power, you know, strain on the grid, saving you energy, potentially saving you money if your energy company offers those, that, those kind of deals. Really so, saving everybody. Everybody, yep. Yeah. Anybody that uh, lives if your power in, company doesn't have to buy electricity from another power company. Exactly. So, so, so convenient. So, it does the same thing with laundry. If it's a peak time, say, hey, you want to hold off on your laundry for a couple hours? The grid's really getting hammered right now. Sure. I have no problem with that. So, smart grid ready. Also, something called smart adapt. So, as new stuff becomes available, whether it's on the actual app or on the products themselves, we can do software updates, just like your cell phone, your computer, your tablet. You can download new software. In the case of laundry, like we have created a cycle called baby wear. So, it's something that's optimized for cleaning babyware. It doesn't come on the laundry, but you can actually download that app if that's something that supports you. Or we have a heavy duty sanitizer, so somebody that's really working with dirt and nasty, grimy stuff, you can download that based on what you need. Smart diagnosis is something we've had on our laundry uh, starting a couple of years ago, and it's since trickled into our refrigerators, our dishwashers, and now our cooking products. What's great about smart diagnosis is Customers sometimes have issues with their product. And with Smart Diagnosis, now with Smart Appliance, you can do it over Wi-Fi. Contact your service center, send a signal to them, and they'll tell you what's going on with it. A lot of times, it's operator error. The kid hit the magic button to hit the child lock on the washer dryer. You don't know what it is. By Smart Diagnosis, the technician can just say, you know what, all you need to hit these two buttons to get it out of the child lock, good to go. The customer doesn't need to take a half day out of work. Saves the technician coming out there going, thank you, that'll be $150. Um, so smart diagnosis is, is great. And then uh, smart access is really kind of the creme de la creme with this. Smart access in your laundry, you can actually monitor what's going on with your laundry in your home or outside the home. Uh, with the range, you can monitor uh, the temperature. If it's preheating, you'll get a notification saying, hey, you're done preheating. Now you can go from downstairs, upstairs, throw your put the pizza in, yeah. that type of stuff. And then the refrigerator is all about the grocery list and food management. So either on the application itself or on the refrigerator, you can create a smart shopping list. So you go to the store. I think it'll look and see what's happening. So that's how the A little garlic.
make some garlic butter. And then you click go shopping. Now this is a very much a prototype. Yeah. But once you're done with it, you, I, those are all the items I bought. You add that to your food manager. Just trying to make it simple. Tough from the angle. So here's everything that I have on here. So we're going to do bacon, beef tenderloin, butter. There we go. Yeah. Sorry. I'm so right here. It's just, yeah, they, these are still prototypes. Uh, they're not doing everything that I'd like the NFT to do. Show the recipes. That's what I'm going to make with what I have. Bacon cheddar sliders. Here's all the items that I'm missing. I can then add that to my grocery list. And again, this is what I want for dinner. Husband, on your way home, go ahead and pick this stuff up. They'll see it on their smartphone. They come home, they can add that. Now, with some of the recipes, you'll actually be able to talk to the range and actually beam a signal over to the range where it'll set the preheat time and the cook time and temperature for that. So it's all about convenience. And then we're developing, giving you a glimpse into the future, uh, this health manager. Still in development. But what we have is you can set up different pro profiles based on dietary needs. Somebody's diabetic, somebody's on a diet, somebody has food allergies. What you can do is it will actually create menus and meals and recipes that will fit all the needs of everybody in the family. Just making everybody's life very, very easy. Yeah, that's something my wife hates doing because she has a dairy allergy and gluten intolerance. There you go. So she tries to make a list every week and, you know, half the time she falls off because it's intensive. LG Smart <laughs> Refrigerators will do that for yeah. you. So, also also have photo viewers on here where you send photos from your phone right to the refrigerator. With smart appliances, again, it's all about just convenience and making your life easier. Make it easy to cook dinner. Make it as easy to pop the laundry so you can do stuff that you want. So that's kind of the short pitch on LG smart appliances.